Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 My Rise video. And yes, yes, y'all, we are, as I mentioned, we are still having the, a deep dive in the My Rise story. We are not in SmackDown. We done uh, knocked out a couple of stories. And uh, we are now about to talk to Mark. I don't know if I want to talk to Tasha just yet because I have a feeling she might turn me heel. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk to Mark first. So let's go ahead and get right into this thing thing. I love that so many WWE superstars care so much about the world and their communities. Speaking of, are you entering the upcoming SmackDown Gives Back Charity Battle Royal? Sure, why not? You know, we, we got to do some charity work, you know what I'm saying, to show that we care. Come here. See ya. And we done punch your ticket. Literally. Let's go. You wanna go? Okay, come on. Let's go. She wants to go home. Josie gonna help me? Let's go. She said she would have my back. Oh, but Josie, it's every woman for themselves. Ah, oh, hell. All right, Josie, you ready to go now? Let's go. Damn it! All right, come on, come on! It's time for you to go. Let's go. See ya. Oh, she's looking out to the side again. That's a glitch. And okay, Mark's not around. Now let's talk to Tasia. You know what one of my favorite sounds in the world is? Hearing the crack of a kendo stick over someone's back. I heard it at the first event I went to, and it's stuck with me ever since. I would love to see how vicious you could be with a kendo stick in your hand. Mm. Something tells me uh, Tasia might be one of them girls, you know what I mean? That be into some, some real kinky shit. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this thing. Now, this better not turn me heel. Okay, I'm just doing a task here. This better not turn me heel, although I have a feeling it's going to. Alright, Asuka. You need to stay your ass the hell down. Because I'm about to hurt you badly. They're going to be a problem. All right. Hopefully, I'll keep you down for a good minute while I go get this Kindle stick to whip your ass with. Get your ass down. Oh, no. Damn it. You need to get your ass the hell down. And apparently, these things right here are a problem. So we're going to work these out. Alright. Okay. Huh? Do we understand each other now? Alright. Now. There you go. A little lower. There you go. Alright, we need a couple more shots. Oh, oh, just one. So we good now. Alright. Come on, girl. Get up. Get up. Nope. Caught. 
Power bomb for that ass. And she kicks out. Stretch. I told you, it wasn't personal, man. It was just business. And it turned us heel, which I didn't want to go heel yet. And we face an Oscar again, this time in a false count anywhere match. And we are not gonna take any chances with this bitch. So let's go. Oh! Oh! I even forced her to get knocked into the ring. Oh, you gonna eat this candlestick? Oh hell! I broke it on the ring. And yeah. Oh yeah. So the anytime anywhere side mission we done did and Robbie still has more stuff for us. My podcast listeners absolutely love to cheer on a villain. After all, morality and playing fair can be a bit stale. So they'd lose their minds <clears throat> to see you crush someone's dreams <laughs> and body in a no DQ match. Eat the stunner! Alright, another story down. What's this? Some of these WWE superstars seem super open to suggestions. I'm not complaining, just surprised. Huh, okay. I'm gonna sleep so soundly tonight. Instead of counting sheep, I'll be counting kendo stick cracks. Thanks to Alice Anderson. Yeah, I think I, I think Tasia is one is one crazy kinky chick. Maurice has something here. Us. So excited to return to SmackDown this week to promote one of my favorite charities, Alice. Wow, you're finally being honest with yourself and acknowledging your career as a charity case. Wow. Um, but I'm still not sure why we're giving you airtime. Funny, coming from someone who hasn't been in WWE long enough for me to know her name, I suggest you apologize unless you want to start something. Well, I want to start something. Maybe I do want to start something. After all, it's not like you could do anything about it anyway, Miss Has Been. Sorry, Miss Never Was. Hashtag fixed it. <laughs> if that's how you want to play it, I'll keep an eye out for you at SmackDown, Alice. Don't mess with the misses. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get into this. Don't bump into me. Oh, and then try to turn your back on me now? What the hell? Oh boy, here we go. What's up? Huh? After all that mess he was talking? Huh? Huh? Oh, off to the table. To another table. Alright, she has no stamina, no health. This is it right here. Oh! Told you. Hey, where's Maurice? I really enjoyed beating her down last week. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome back to SmackDown anytime. I'm sorry, but are you really disrespecting my wife like that? The little dust up backstage was one thing, but what could be going through your mind that makes you think any of this is okay? Oh, just the adrenaline of remembering what it was like to smack her around. Hmm. You want to fight with Maurice? Fine. She'll take you on. But first, you better find a partner. Because <clears throat> you're going to face both of us in a mixed tag match. Ooh. You know, you'd think a guy wouldn't want a front row seat to see his wife getting beat down. Again. But hey, I get it. 
She is pretty annoying. See you out there. <laughs> I mean, Miz wants some. We can give him some too. So it seems like Maurice and Mike, the Miz, need a little lesson about who SmackDown belongs to these days. Who wants to help me teach them that lesson? See, we got King Corbin, we got Bobby Lashley, and we got Sheamus. Well, misery loves company. You can say that again. Misery loves company. I love that one. And there's Misery right there in the corner. Where he belongs. We done. <laughs> oh yeah. Told you my girl and Bobby would get it done. Even though my girl did all the work. <laughs> Hey, Miz wanted a front row seat to see his wife get her ass beat. So, I mean, hey, that, that's on him. See, beating you and your husband was so much fun, Maurice. Your uh, faces are both so punchable. Hope you're not, hope you're not second guessing our singles match. I know it's going to be worse than staying at home, than staying home to deal with your bratty kids. Oh, she, she brought the kids into it. Now she made it personal and that's bad. Um, I'm not backing down from anything at Alice, uh, and don't ever talk about my kids again. Actually, keep talking. It'll motivate me even more. Oh, look at little Miz right there, having his wifey's back. Talking about, you got this, babe, with the heart emoji. I'll be out there to watch you get revenge. Really? Then I'll bring someone, too. She's actually coming out with Bobby Lashley. That's dope. Yep. I'm going to squeeze the life out of her in front of her husband. Told you. Right in front of him. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we just got done with Don't Mess With The Mrs. Storyline. And I think this will be a good stopping point for this video. I mean, I think we got quite a few matches in, which is going to be... A lot of fun editing this video. <laughs> but yeah, y'all know the deal by now. Don't forget to like, comment, of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the video description down below. Appreciate all y'all who come through to watch these videos. You know what I mean? All y'all who are supporting the channel means the world. And uh, yeah, it's your boy Jason JV. Saying y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace.